Hello and welcome to another developer blog entry with me, Mioni, and it's time to nerd out at some pictures, friends. Courtesy of community rep Saisuka for posting this all nicely translated for us to read through. I'm not going to read this all word for word, I'm more interested in the pictures themselves, so you can go ahead and look in the description of this video to a link to this if you want to read it. But it talks about Keita Ememia, the executive director of the Garo series, whom in this case made the monster designs, along with Yasumi Matsuno, the legendary man behind the Iblis series, and work together to pull off the Return to Iblis Raid series, which is certainly the best they've done so far in the game, in my opinion. The real meat of this developer blog is when we start to look at Keita Ememiya's designs for bosses, which are going to be in the upcoming Eastern Memories art book that's releasing this month for purchase as well, so that's something to look forward to. The Thunder God looks awesome in this first set. This picture almost reminds me of drawings people used to do in school with felt tip pens, colouring in simple line drawings, but on a whole new level. The colours are incredible here. The draft design for this shown below is even more stunning. You can see the original thought process here, slowly evolving into the colour drawing, but beginning with more of a sort of leonine head, less human, and overall a much less bipedal design. That massive stinger on the tail there, it's all very interesting considering that didn't make it to the final model. And then from that we got the final version in the game, but that's not before some more intricate drawing and line work was done. I love these technical drawings, showing how things connect and fit together like some kind of owner's manual for a monster. The different aspects of the design that the modelling team would have to work with here, well it's stunning. These drawings are the sort of thing that would look incredible in a frame. And then there's the grey box images showing the model being put together in 3D, with all of those details being carefully carved in, making sure not to miss something off. Interestingly, they also take a peek at the Ultima High Serif designs, so even more to nerd out over. Another of these colourful illustrations is the first image they present, and my god, the colours are incredible. Look at that design, you could literally stare at this image for hours and just find new elements you didn't piece together previously. It's stunning. The detail drawings for this just illustrate how incredibly dedicated the art team is to their craft. Just look at all of those small, intricate details that you would have to work with. It's sort of like looking at a master level paint by numbers book, which Square Enix should totally sell, by the way. I probably would buy them all, and I'm just saying. It also looks stunning in its grey box modelling stage. They zoom into various areas and features for these pictures. This angelic face set into the mass of feathers. You can actually see other feathered beings in the details pressed against the flesh as well. If you keep looking, you can see the lines of bones and serpent-like tails, claws at angles against the skin. It's really a massive collage of art, like a massive walking mural of sorts. And the final design, which when the screen is filled with thousands of spell effects and abilities, clouds your appreciation of all of the detail that's present. But it looks astonishing from every angle, which is ultimately, I believe, why they decided to make a statue in real life based on this. It's just too good. It's a great preview of behind the scenes design elements from the Iblis series, and I loved these raids. I'm really hoping the same love and detail and attention gets put into the Nia Automata raids in Shadowbringers. That would be awesome. Let me know what you thought about the work of Keita Ememiya and Yasumi Matsuno's writing on this project, and I'll see you all next time.